In this tracing, we're going to analyze the specificities of the different counters. You can see initially a sinus rhythm with biventricular pacing, a first PVC and then the onset of a ventricular tachycardia with dissociation between the ventricles that are faster than the atria. Like in most cases, the first cycles are unbinned because there is a discordance between the current interval and the average value and then the first cycle is classified T2 so VT2 and then during the tachycardia some cycles are classified VT1 to fill the counter 12 cycles were required in the VF zone 12 cycles were required in the VT2 zone and 15 cycles were required in the VT1 zone during the tachycardia, some cycles are classified T2 because both the current interval and the average value correspond to the VT2 zone or because one of these two, the current or the average, correspond to the VT2 and the other one to the VT1. Some cycles are classified VT1 because both the current and the average value correspond to the VT1. During the tachycardia, there is a competition between the VT2 counter and the VT1 counter. It is important to know that a cycle classified VT2 does not increment the VT1 counter, and similarly, a VT1 cycle does not decrement the VT2 counter. So, the first counter that will be filled is the VT1 counter since you can find 15 cycles classified VT1. Therefore, it is an episode VT1. And the first therapy corresponding to VT1 is delivered. This is a burst. When the therapy has been delivered, then starts the phase of reconfirmation. And you can see here that once more there is a competition between the VT1 and the VT2 counter. It can only find VT2 cycles, therefore a diagnosis of VT2 and the therapy corresponding to the VT2 zone are delivered. So let's summarize the important points about the counters. Intervals are counted until a bin reaches capacity. When a bin is full, that particular rhythm is detected. All counters operate simultaneously, so the slow VT counter, VT1, the fast VT counter, VT2, the VF counter, and the return to sinus counter. An increment of the fast zone does not increment the counter of the slower zones. The first counter reaching the number of program cycles determines detection, the type of event, and the therapy is delivered. These cycles are not necessarily consecutive and the same applies to post-therapy redetection, which has its own separate counters.